primitive data types are already built into the platform. As we added attributes to the configuration objects, we specify data types for these attributes. Variables can get various data types too. Now there are four primitive data types. String, number, date, boolean. Here you can see all available data types for 1C attributes. The types marked with a red line are a little bit complicated. Value storage is a 1C language object that allows storing other values in a database. They include pictures, files, structures, and tables of values. UUID is a type to store statistically unique 128-bit values. In other programming languages, it's usually called GUID. It represents a string consisting of 32 hexadecimal digits divided into groups by hyphens. Now, this code is a textual representation of the unique identifier. There is no default value for the UUID type. Consider a type string here. As you can see, a string is a set of symbols put in quotation marks. Also, as you can see, there is a concatenation operation. Now, we combined three strings into one using the plus symbol. Numbers can either be integers or have a decimal part. We can create a decimal part of a number using the full stop symbol. Arithmetic operations are applied to type number. We can also create operation modulo, percentage. This operation returns the modulus of its first operand with respect to the second. It means it produces the remainder after dividing the first value by the second one. Consider type date. The date is stored together with time. Let's call function current date type date. This function checks the current system date on the computer. Now, it is possible to apply addition and subtraction operations to type date. We can increase or decrease the value date by any number of seconds. So, let's increase the current time by one hour. For data type boolean, we can apply a logical operation not. Here are the results of our coding. 